Hey there guys, it's V and I am here with my HCG P3 um, day 6 through 16 update. I know it's been a while and um, my last post was like very brief and very quick. So I figured I'd take a little bit more time and kind of talk a little bit more with you guys about how things have been going. But first, let me just let you know about how I have been stabilizing. Um, day six, I was the same. My weight was the same as, as my LDW. Um, seven, I wasn't able to weigh myself because I was working. Um, day eight, I was actually um, 0.6 above. Day nine, I was 1.2 above. Day 10, I stayed at 1.2 above. Day 11 was the only day that I have ever been under my LDW. And I was actually only under by 0.2. So it really wasn't a lot. Day 12, I wasn't able to weigh myself. 13, I was over 1.4. Um, 14, day 14 and 15, I couldn't weigh myself. And then today, day 16, I am actually um, 1.4 over. So I kind of feel like I've been stabilizing pretty good. I um, This past um, 10 days, I have not gone over the 2-pound um, margin above the 2 pounds, so I feel pretty good about it. Um, like I've said before, I've, and again, this is just me. This is just, oh, this sun looks crazy on my face. Um, sorry, I have lines everywhere. Um, this is for me, this is what's worked for me. I definitely, I am not following protocol at all. Um, I have been eating carbs. I've been eating a little sugar. I'm not a big sugar person anyway, so, um, but I've been, you know, I haven't really been sticking to what I'm supposed to eat on P3. However, um, like I said, I've stayed within my two pound margin and in my mind, and I know this is not what was in the manuscript and again, that was on protocol. In my mind, I feel that, you know, I should put a little in here and there because even after the week three, you know, after the three weeks of stabilization, when I try to go into maintaining, if I were to eat something then, you know, I, I don't want to go overboard or, um, all of a sudden gain a bunch of weight because I ate a piece of bread, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm the person that I can't live without carbs. Um, I know a lot of people after doing this, being on the HCG, they just decide to cut out carbs and sugar altogether. And that's definitely something that I don't want to do. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to incorporate it and it's all in moderation. I haven't gone like crazy overboard, but I definitely, you know, what if I want an English muffin for breakfast, I'm, I eat an English muffin. But then for the rest of the day, I kind of limit out the amount of carbs that I'm eating. I'm not going to have an English muffin and then go have a sub and then eat like some cookies. And then, you know, I'm not going to do all that in one day. I've just been kind of, you know, maybe a little piece of something here, you know, uh, you know, something. If I know if, I, if I'm out and I um, like at work, if I'm out and I get like a burger or something to eat with fries, I don't eat the bun if I eat the fries. So I just kind of balance it out. And so far, it's been working good for me. So again, that's just me. That's just how things are going for me. Um, I did want, like, I don't know, I was kind of sitting around this morning and I was like, hmm, I wonder, you know, because I'm, I'm, of course it's a few days before Christmas and um, my husband and I, we decided we're not going to get each other gifts. We're just going to go out after Christmas and go shopping because, you know, we're kind of old now. There's not really much that we want that we don't buy for ourselves during the year. So I, the only thing that I want, I want some, you know, shoes and purses and some clothes. That's all I want. So I kind of don't want to leave it up to him to buy it for me. So I, um, I'm going to go get it for myself. But anyway, I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to buy pants or not. I really don't know what size pants I wear. Um, and so I had a pair of um, size 8 jeans from The Gap that I my sister bought for me. And I love them. And I didn't want to get rid of them. So I kind of been holding on to them, you know, just in case I can get back in them. And I actually tried them on this morning. And I have them on. So I'm going to show you how they look. And I was surprised. They're on. They're zipped. I'm not ready to wear them out. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Well, I'll show you. Here you go. So, here are the jeans. These are the size 8. And so, look. I mean, they're they're on. They're zipped. They're on. And even, I mean, really, they're not even that painful. I don't feel, I mean, if I had to wear with, like, a sweatshirt, I could do it. Because, of course, I still have this here that needs to go away. So like I said, I definitely wouldn't wear it out. I mean, I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but for me, I'm not comfortable 
with this extra that's going on. But like I said, if I'm wearing a sweatshirt or something, I definitely wear it. But I mean, they fit really good, like everywhere else. So I'm actually happy about that. So, and, and just before that, I was actually wearing size 12s before I started this. And um, I mean, I guess kind of, I was kind of like mostly 12s. There was a couple of 10s that I can wear. Um, but I was kind of like a, a 12 is what I would wear and I didn't have to worry about that extra muffin top spillage or whatever. Um, so I'm happy. That makes me really, really, really happy. Um, and also I'm going to put at the end of this video, um, actually, you know what, I'll put it in right now. So here is just, um, these are my gold jeans that I had and I'm actually really happy with the progress, um, of what this first round has allowed me to do to get into these jeans. All right, so this is the before picture. Before I started HCG, I tried the jeans on, and I couldn't even get them up above my thighs. That was as far as they would even go on me. And this is the after. Sorry, the picture's dark, but I can definitely get them up. Almost to being buttoned. I mean, I still have a bit of a muffin top over them, but they're on. So um, that's my right, goal. So those are my goal jeans, and I'm almost in them. I believe that if I do one more round, and maybe like 10 more pounds I can actually get in those. And those are actually a 7, 8 from Hollister. And um, if you know anything about Hollister jeans, they're definitely made for the straight and narrow um, girl. So those are my goal jeans. Um, but I, I, I really believe if I did another round and maybe 10 more pounds, I could definitely get back in those jeans and um, be happy with where I am. So that's really what I want. So... That's kind of what's been going on with me. I haven't really been doing much. I've been doing um, some cardio here and there, um, but still nothing too crazy. I I believe that I will start a new round. I still have, um, my bottle of HCG has lasted like, like I did 40 days of it. Um, and I still have like a crazy amount left. So it was a huge bottle. I don't know if either I just wasn't taking enough drops or I don't know what was going on, but I still have some more left, so I'm going to take that up. I'm going to do a short round, three weeks. Um, try to do 21 days on that round. And hopefully I will be um, kind of at my goal, back into the clothing items that I want to be into. Again, I'm going to start that probably January 1st, like a lot of people out there. So if you're out there and you're watching these videos and you want to kind of team up and partner up and um, be each other's motivation, um, I believe I'm going to start loading... I don't know. I may start loading on the 30th and 31st, and that way I can start, um, I don't know. I'll figure out. But, well, no, I guess, you know, I'll start January 1st. I'm going to load on January 1st. Um, January, January 1st and 2nd will be my loading days. So if you want to team up and do a round together, we can definitely do that. Follow me on Twitter. My Twitter um, handle is at Scott, F-E-S-C-O-T-T. And leave any comments or anything you may have, any questions. And I believe that's everything that I want to tell you guys. Um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Like I said before, I love Christmas. I love this time of year. And I live in Florida and it's hot and I love it. I can still wear my flip flops. I know some people, they really love their white Christmas. But you know what? Christmas for me is sun shining t-shirt, flip-flops, and that's always a good day for me. I think actually this year we're not even going to um, do a traditional Christmas dinner. We're going to have a Christmas barbecue because the weather is so nice. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a, a, a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And I guess, yeah, I'll come back again. Oh, this is actually what, day 16 of P3 for me. So I am actually go. I am in my last... Um, my last week, I believe the 27th is the end of my P, my official three weeks of my P3 that I've already kind of been in P3 before anyway. So, um, that's it. All right. I'm rambling. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.